Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Great Geomatics Engineering. Here I will learn about geomatics engineering and prepare you for it. So if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel to support us. ये आज का मॉड्यूल शुरू करने से पहले आप सभी को मेरे तरफ से सुबह दुर्गा पूजा हार्दिक सुबह का मना। Yes, there are so many students ask me, Sir, where are you from? Brother, where are you from? Yes, I am from West Bengal, and in our West Bengal, Durga Puja is a festival. Durga Puja is a emotion. So let's start our today's module, which is engineering mathematics. So before knowing about the content part, before knowing the question about this engineering mathematics, before knowing the description about this question, we have to know some basic things like how many questions come from this module. It is important to clear the gate and the difficulty level of the question of this module. So the first question, how many questions from this module? In last year, there are uh, five to six questions and total marks from this module is eight to 10 marks. But the question difficulty level is very low. Means the question come from the basic things. If you know the basic formula, then you can do the all questions answer. So the difficulty level is, level is very easy. But we never think this year the question pattern is same. Maybe the question pattern is hard. So we have to prepare according to that level. Yes, it is important to clear gate because many of the students are uh, those who are not efficient with the uh, theoretical part like GIS, GNSS. For them, it is important. But you can clear the gate without this engineering mathematics. But I will suggest you Please go through this module, please watch the lecture. This module provide you a good marks with 0, 0, 0 effort. From the basic question, from the basic formula, you can do the answer of this question. So, the content of this module is surveying measurement, accuracy precision, most probable value errors, their adjustment, Regression analysis, correlation coefficient, least square adjustment, statistical significant value, and g square test. We will describe here the all things. But some people ask me, sir, from which day the engineering mathematics module will start? Actually, it's a combination of surveying things like so I am waiting for the start of survey portion so you can see the survey portion is started by Bardhan sir he go through the survey portion and you can relate this survey measurement and the accuracy precision things from his lecture so I will suggest you please go through his lecture and this survey measurement things and the accuracy precision things is present there and uh, you will get clear knowledge from there. So I will start this module from the most probable value errors and their adjustment. Okay. So go to the most probable value portion. What is the most probable value? Actually, it is a value of quantity that has more chance to bring the correct value of quantity. Like the measurement value like 1.1, 1.01, 1.03. This type of measurement value you can get from a measurement. But the accuracy level or the correct value you can't be predict from the all value. So for that case, what we do? We average this value. 
am i right or wrong you can relate you can relate if you do any practical um, many times you take the three value and then the average the value for that that's also a type of most probable value for that case we take the unit value as a one but in this portion you can take the most probable value uh, for defined different case first case if you take the equal value sorry equal unit weight like the measurement value is comes 2.3 2.4 2.5 okay or 2.6 2.7 for and for this all case for this all measurement the weight is unit weight unit then the most probable value is summation of this value like this is x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 sorry for this case the most probable value is summation of x divided by total unit weight means summation of w so what is the summation of if x summation of x means x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 and summation of w means w1 plus w2 plus w3 w4 plus w5 but in this case in this case one for the every measurement for the every different different measurement equal unit weight is present so we can write it x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 divided by n into w am i right or wrong okay i think you will get my point so go to the next case the second case is if the measurements have defined weight I think if you do the practical of some uh, of some um, like I'm from civil engineering background so there was some practical like uh, for a for measuring some probable value and the accuracy we take the unit value defined like which data provide more accurate and according to that we can fix the weightage but in this case there is defined different measurement like x1 x2 x3 x4 okay for x1 the value is 3.4 for x2 the value is 3.5 for x3 the value is 4 for x5 the value is 4.1 and the weightage is for this is 2 this is 3 this is 1 this is also 1 then the mpv value is same summation of x by summation of w but here summation of x by summation of w equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 divided by w1 plus w2 plus w3 plus w4 okay so i think this concept you will understand so if i give you example if I give you example, then it's better to understand you. So next go to the example portion, which is present here. So in this case, there was some measurement values given. 
and the defined defined voltage value is also provided there. For first case, x1 value is given 22.0. For second case, the measurement value is 23.5. x3 is 24.1. X4 is 21.6 X5 is 22.7 X6 is 25.0 And that is written the voltage of this measurement are 3, 4, 6, 5, 2 and 3 respectively So for this case X1 is The weight of X1 is 3 x2 is 4, x3 is 6, x4 is 5, x5 is 2, and x6 is 3. Then find the MPV value. So MPV value is what? Summation of x by summation of w. Right? So what is this? 12.0 plus 23.5 plus 24.1 plus 21.6 plus sorry 22.7 plus 25.0 okay and summation of w is 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 5 plus 2 plus 3. So let's add this like 22.0 plus 23.5 means 45.5 plus 24.1 means 69.6 plus 21.6 right 21.6 means um, 91.2 plus 22.7 means uh, 113.9 plus 25 means 138.9 divided by 3, 4, 7, 7, 6, 13, 13, 5, 18, 20, 23 divided by 23 so it's come like 6.0391 okay so the question is very basic like they can ask uh, what is the mpv value of this measurement and if the measurement uh, weight is this okay if they say the weight is unit or equal for the measurement then you can easily do that thing or do that calculation okay so if you are new to our channel please subscribe our channel and support us and uh, enjoy your day enjoy your durga puja subhas navaratri thank you thank you everyone